well of living spring water. And the herdsmen of Gerus quarreled with Isaac herdsmen, saying, they, the water is ours. And he named the well Isaac, contention, because they quarreled with him. Then his servant dug another well, and they quarreled over that also. So he named it Sitna, enmity. And he moved away from there and dug another well. And for that one, they did not quarrel. He named it Rehoboth, room, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Now he went <clears throat> up from there to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him the same night and say, I am God of Abraham, your father. Fear not, for I am with you and will favor you with blessings and multiply your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. And Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there. And there Isaac's servants were digging a well. Then Abimelech went to him from Gera with Azura, one of his friends, and Philco, his army commander. And Isaac said to them, Why have you come to me, seeing that you hate me and have sent me away from you? They said, We saw that the Lord was certainly with you. So we said, Let there be now an oath between us. Uh, even between you and us, and let us make a covenant with you that you would not do us harm in as much as we have not touched you and have done you nothing but good and have sent you away in peace. You are now the blessed and or favorite of the Lord. And he made them a former dinner, and they ate and drank. And they rose up early in the morning and took oaths with the curse with one another and Isaac sent them on their way and they departed from him in peace. That same day, Isaac's servants came and told them about the well they had dug saying, we have found water. This morning, look at your neighbor and tell him to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You got, listen to me, church. We got to keep it moving. God is a God of movement, not a God of standstill. He's very aggressive in who he is. He wants you to keep it moving because in moving, you reach your spot. In moving, you get to where God has blessings for you. You can't get that sitting still. You can't get that stand where you are. Even your storms will move you somewhere. So that storm you're in now, you ought to be praising God. Because it's moving you when you wouldn't move yourself. Oh, y'all don't hear me. It's making you move simply because you wouldn't move. Paul said, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit. You can't go. We got to keep. Anybody got a car? The wind in the front is very big. It only has a little small rear view mirror to remind you yeah. what's behind you, not to look back there. Yeah. The, mirror, the window is big in front of you because there's more for you in front of you yeah. than it will ever be behind you. Yeah. You got to keep it moving. You got to keep it moving. Here it is. We're talking about Isaac now. This is the blessed child. Yeah, right. This is the one that all the promises were coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This is the one that watched his daddy lay him on the altar, watch him tie him up, watch him pull his knife out, watch him get ready to come down to kill him, and watch God provide a way. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He didn't get to that mountain staying at home. He didn't get to that mountain on Zoom or on, on, on Facebook. He didn't get to that mountain on the phone talking to everybody, telling everybody what he told him to do. Yeah. He got to the mountain and saw God move because he moved when God told him to move. Yeah. You got to move. And let me tell you something. When you're moving, yeah. it ain't going to be a piece of cake. Number one, in moving, you got to know there's going to be adversities. Yeah. Part number one, there's going to be adversities. Somebody say adversity. Look at the text. It says when they moved and start digging, everybody, the people start fighting them over the well. Now, where these wells came from? These were the wells that my daddy used that they covered up. We need water. So I'm going to move, I'm going to dig the wells up, and every time we dug a well up and found water, they fought us for it. Nothing comes easy to a believer. Because that believer is pulling people from Satan's side to God's side. Satan is going to fight you on every turn. Oh, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He said, okay. No, you don't. He don't love you. Look at what you're doing. I'm going to fight you to see if you really have the faith you say you have. They done moved on. Uh, 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 Isaac done got wealthy. He got money more. He got more money than you could ever throw a stick at. But he, they was making a place home so they could dwell in their being. And they needed water. So the first time they dug, mm -hmm. and Isaac dug again in the wells of water which had been dug in the days of Abraham, his father, for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he gave them the name by which his father called him. Watch this. Now, er, now Isaac's servant, verse 19, dug in the valley and found there were living wells. That was a well of living water. Look at verse 20. And the herdsmen of Gerah quarreled with Isaac, herdsmen saying, the water is ours. And he named the well Esau because they quarreled with him. They had this well that they dug, that was previously dug by the daddy. Son don't start digging. They hit water. The enemy said, no, that's out. You want to take what's mine, I, what I found out that I did the work. You don't want to do the work. You, you don't want to go clock in nowhere. You, you, you want money, Marvin, and child, but you're not willing to do the work. But the moment I roll up my sleeves, yeah, yeah, yeah. take my money, time, and effort, yeah, yeah, yeah. and did this well, you're going to come in and say, oh, that's mine. Wow. Have you ever worked hard on a job, and the person next to you got that job you supposed to, that you applied for? You trained them. Now they're your boss. They don't know what they're doing. All they know, Carly, you taught them. Now can you can you uh, can you run this report for me? And can you uh, be can you move to the smaller desk? Because I'm the boss now. But what most of us do? We leave. We move, we move somewhere else. Uh, Y'all don't even get it. See, if you don't move, you don't get the you don't get the advancement. If you don't move, you don't get the advancement. Uh, if you don't have the if you don't have the fight over there, you don't move to the next spot. If you don't get in the storm over here, it don't it don't it don't let you it don't let you drown. Dr uh, dr what do you call it? Uh, 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 what? Drift. You don't drift to the next spot. You ain't, you, see, see, you stay there, you get mad. How I many you stay on that job and that person became your boss and 
Now they act like they know everything that you that you taught them, and now they now they telling you how insufficient, inadequate you are. Hey, hey, hey! You know what you gotta do? You just gotta keep moving. You you, you can't sit there. Cause you see, wherever you stay too long, it starts to fester. When you stay somewhere too long, you get stuck. When you stay somewhere too long, you start thinking about your old ways and your old thoughts. You know, you get my cat, I'm going to get your dog. No, 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 no. Let's just keep moving. Well, he moved again. Second way. Somebody say second way. And he moved away from there and dug another way. But that one they did not quarrel. No, no, that's the second. That's the third one. Mm-hmm. They went and built another, they dug another one and quarreled over that also. And he named it Sitna, Enmity. I ain't finna keep fighting you. To really, I really ain't gotta fight you. Cause the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. He said, vengeance is mine. And he said, I will repay. Quit making it hard just because you got to move. He knows what's best. It, it's something that he know about you don't know about. Leave yeah. right. right. that, that, that friend that done left you. Don't worry about it, baby. You need to leave that alone. Because where I'm taking you, they... See, I told you years ago that that wasn't the person. So I got to let something happen for you to go and move. Anybody here harder besides me? Anybody here harder, harder besides me? God, God done told you. He showed you in the beginning. That ain't her. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. But do you not know she's 36? 24, 36? Oh, she's a brick. How? She's mighty, mighty. But she don't like you. But she don't like you. Yeah. She that fine to you, she find a whole bunch of other ones. Yeah. And she might have all of them on her squad. She don't like you. You care how much money you give them? How much sex you make to them? How many of their bills you pay? How many cars you buy them? You can even change their name. But if they don't like you, Keep it moving. Because you stay there. You work hard as you work. You paying all them bills. She don't even like you. You got billed up. She don't want to hold your hand. She won't cook. Something going to happen. She bad. Oh, she fine. She's a bad mamma jamma. Ba boom 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 boom. But she can't cook bar water. you got to know. Adversities don't last always. They're just part of the movement. They're just part of the movement. Understand that adversities are part of the movement. See, we don't like adversity. Because we don't, we don't understand that's the fuel that gives you what you need to move. So we get stuck. We get stuck in ministry. So we get so confused with this word, it blow our mind. He said, when you go to offer them what God gives you, 
and they don't receive you. It did not say stay there. You know what happens? He says shake the dust. We stay there, and that water turns the dust into mud, and now we're in quicksand. See, he gave me a see, he gave me a word to speak to your spirit. If you got the You try the spirit. I'm healed, and you say you healed, or you want to know him. See, see, even if you ain't saved, he'll awaken you to the spirit. Because he keep you till, you till he get to you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. See, 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 he kept all of us till we met him. He'll let you go through something and move on and make you be talking about, man, what was that? That was, wow. You know, first we say, wow. Then we say, Power above. What is the power above? <laughs> then you're going to say, God. Yeah. The deeper it gets, the closer you get to him. Yeah. And then when I come and meet you and talk to you about God, oh, that's what that was that got me. Yeah. Yeah. But if you got to convince somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. see, you ain't got to convince nobody that want to know it. Yeah. You ain't got to convince nobody that God leads you to. So when I start talking to people, they want to prove their point. You got that. I know what he give me to give you. I'm not going to make you accept him. Because I see you in the flesh and I'm in the spirit. We ain't going to never come to an agreement. We'll never be on the same page. Because you and your feelings and I'm in the spirit. You're proving a point that you ain't receiving this word. I ain't telling you nothing else. I'm telling you what it say. As a matter of fact, he sent me to knock on your door. I wasn't going. Hold on. I, I, nope, I ain't going. We're going to leave that alone. Carl, I don't even like you like that. I don't try to talk to you before. It always turns into an argument. I'm not going. The spirit said, go. I don't want to go, sir. Not over there. I'll go anywhere but there. He said, get over there. Because by the time you get there, I'm going to meet you there. Uh oh. So when you operate in the spirit that I tell you to operate in. Now, I know I got her. I know she in the spirit, but every now and then, we had a tendency to go back to our flesh. And if they fed the flesh that day, if they fed the flesh that day, it's going to be a tug of war. So guess what? You know what? Think what you think. And I'm going to think what I think. I'm going to shake the dust because the next door is waiting on me. Some of y'all are burnt out because you burn out dealing with folks who told you to leave alone. He said, move on, move on, move on. Hey, it's just, just move on to the people that I tell you to. Somebody's waiting to receive that word that you have for them. They're, they're, they're praying to me while we yet speaking. See, I let you knock on this door knowing they didn't want it. To give them time to get up. Uh-oh. 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 They was out there running around them streets. I'm going to let you go knock on uh, Karen though, Karen Tilson though, and she ain't going to want to talk to you. But I'm going to let you try one more time because Robert really need me. Robert is going through something right now that's blowing her mind. She's crying out to me, so I'm going to let you bypass her. She's just going to keep it at temporary till she get out the car. To hear the doorbell ring. Oh, God. And once the doorbell is heard, she answers, and she's waiting for every word you have to say. You don't have to defend the word. You present the word. And if their heart is open to receive, they will receive it. If they don't want to receive it, don't argue with them. Let them make it. Because some plant it, some water, but God will give the increase. They may not be ready yet, so guess what? You got to move. No matter she cute. No matter he fine. No matter he got muscles. Don't matter he got gray switch on. He don't know God. She don't know God. It don't matter what you got. You don't know God. And once you get to doing all that other stuff, you're going to be just as empty then. Yeah. Well. 
They, 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 either they do it, they third will. Can I go back to the Bible? They dug the third well, y'all. Where it go? They dug the third well, and they didn't nobody mess with them. They left them. Uh, <laughs> and then, listen, let me get there. Look at this. 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 Verse 22. And they moved away from there and dug another well. And for that one, they did not quarrel. They named it uh, Rehoboth, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us. You know that song says, Trouble don't last our way? I'm so glad. Trouble don't last our way. Can I get a witness? I'm so glad. May not come when you want him, but he's on time. Times of trouble, I find him to be a friend of mine. When dark clouds rise in your life, I know he'll be there. Yes, he will. All your brothers, take them to the Lord. He'll help you bear. I'm so glad. You gotta, you gotta listen to this one. Listen, listen, listen. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. Oh, yes, I am. Trouble don't last always. Listen, listen, I'm gonna say this one. We've been made, we've been made, endure for, keep the faith. We've been made, endure for night, keep the faith. It will be all right. Well, the trouble was gone. But you got to keep moving till you get to the point that trouble don't last all way. Then when they dealt the third, the third well, the Bible says, and God showed up. <laughs> you know why God showed up? Which leads me to my second point. Let me get to it. Here comes the second point. Because now it's time for advances. It's time to roll. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to be about his business. It's time to tap in. But you don't, in the movement, you got to push through the adversity. Right. To hold on for a minute to get to the advances. Which is going to lead you to something else in a minute. You got to move. What is it going to lead us to? To achievements. You get to do stuff. You get to accomplish things. But you got to keep moving. You can't wallow in the hurt. They hurt you. And it hurts, the hurts hurt. But you got to keep moving. Keep it moving. You know what kills us? We stop and wallow there. Cry while you're walking. Don't you sit down and start thinking about that stuff, man. It'll kill you. Oh, Lord, I've been with them since Jesus left. But you're still moving. And, uh... Yeah, Lord Jesus, you're going to give me what I need. 
Hallelujah. That's you. How you doing? What your name is? That's how I go. Oh, they fired me. Did you tell God you were tired? Lord, I'm tired. I don't know what to do. I ain't got no more time off. I'm tired. He said, okay, I'm going to lay you off. I'm going to lay you off. You're going to still have your medical, and you're going to get a check. Go on on home and go to sleep. Now, don't go home and start traveling all over the world. Don't you know every time God show up, advancement's going to take place? Yeah. Listen, don't you know every time God show up, something to change? Yeah. No, no, no. Don't you know that every time God showed up, something is going to happen? Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. For now the Lord had made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. See, now we're going to advance. We're going to be fruitful. Y'all, y'all got your Bibles open. When you go to, when you keep moving, you will have adversities. But the adversities lead to advancement. And the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am God of Abraham, your father. Fear not, for I am with you and will favor you with blessings and multiply your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Listen, I'm telling you something. I'm going to multiply this thing. I'm going to move you forward. Because it's going to take all these descendants to help you achieve what I promised you're going to achieve. Don't you meet people when you're moving? You find some new friends when you move, right? You find your new boo when you move, right? You find your new job when you move, right? You find your new home when you're moving. You find your new car. You go to a new school. Everything happens when you're moving. Nothing happens when you're standing still. No, you finna go through something. But there comes a time, I tell you this all the time, that God says that's enough. Time for the advancement. Time for me to start. Time for me to kick in. Don't you love when God kick in? Have you ever been low to the ground and God stand you up? Have you ever had nothing in your pocket and money starts check coming in the mail? Have you ever been home when somebody knocked on your door with groceries? See, because you're willing to keep moving, you're willing to keep praising, you're willing to keep focus on, on, on God, even though you're going through the adversities, the advancement shows up. And when the check comes, it ain't just your bills, it's something left over. When the food comes, it ain't just for the day. It's enough to last you the payday. He, he, he takes care of his own. You got to keep moving. What David say? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then you go on down and he say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Then he said, and I will. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. It wouldn't have happened if he stayed in the valley. See, 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 all day and all night, the angels keep watch over me. So God is sitting high looking low. Angels all around me. Goodness and mercy behind me. Christ in front of me. Oh, I'm good. You good? I'm good. I'm safe. I done went through these verses. Bring them on. He said this battle ain't charged with mine anyway. Go on, go on, go on. I'm standing there. I'm going to make you move because you'll get comfortable right there. You know the worst place to be is to be comfortable. You know why Christians ain't moving? We done got comfortable with the crumbs that God done left for us. 
And God said, I got a whole table for you. You don't got comfortable with the crumbs the government give you. You don't got comfortable with the, with the crumbs that boo give you. You don't got crum comfortable with the crumbs that the paycheck pay you. But you ain't even you ain't even glorifying in the fact that the father, uh, my father owns it all. He got cattle of a thousand hills. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein, if you're saved, you join ass to the throne. And the same power that God used to raise Jesus from the dead. That's what you got. How old are you, baby? How old are you? 20. You say? You got it. You ain't got nothing to be afraid of. Say to you, tell me, yes, you tell me, no, I ain't. He said, I've overcome the world. Be a good cheer. You're going to go through something. Well, be a good cheer, for I have already overcome. Y'all ain't getting this. We're talking about truths around here. Be a good cheer, Lantry. I don't care what you're going through, because I've already overcome the, your situation. Anybody here sick? Be a good cheer for by his stripes. Yeah. Anybody here feel like you're about to lose your mind? Be a good cheer because he's a heart fixer and a mind. I mean, it's some stuff that happened to you. Come on, come on. Come on, be real. It's some stuff you done went through in your life that, that, that have caused other people to get checked in. But God kept your mind. He kept your heart. He kept you in the right frame of mind because somebody took their life behind them. Anybody ever been in trouble? Know you was guilty. <laughs> I ain't talking about talking about you. Know you did it. But when it was time to go in the courtroom, time served. Case this. Oh, come on. Y'all know. You know. You, listen. You know you ain't supposed to be here because you know you supposed to be in the pen. You know you did it. But God just didn't let you get caught. They didn't have enough reputable witnesses to convince you. But in your heart of hearts, Brandon, you know you did it. But God, it's time to move you forward. I, 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 didn't, I didn't bring you out just to bring you out. I brought you out so you can be a messenger. I brought you out so you can tell somebody. Come in, my Job, talk to us. As Job was working, every time he looked up, a one person came back to tell him, hey, man, your barn has got raided and they took all your cattle. Hey, man, your, your kids is in the house. They, they all got, they all died. Hey, man, the, 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 the CPA broke it. He took all your money. It was one person left to tell the story. What if you the person that's left? And you ain't moving to tell the story. Tell them how he helped you. You better tell him how he picked you up, turn you around, place your feet on solid ground. Let him know you was a woman of the night, <laughs> and now you're teaching Sunday school. <laughs> Let him know you was a pimp, and now you a preacher. <laughs> Let him know you were dead, and now you are a deacon. Ain't God all right? When you keep moving and go do what you go do, there comes a time when God will advance. Ain't he all right? That's the hope, ain't it? That ought to keep you smiling. That ought to let you make one more step. That ought to make you pray one more time. God, it ought to make you go get your Bible and read one more scripture. In order to let you show up the Bible study one more time. Let me log on the wake and bake one more time. Let me get to Sunday school one more time. Let me fall down on my knees and call on the Lord one more time. Because he may not come. Oh, he may not come. He may not come when you want him. But he's always, always on time. Help me say yeah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to keep on, keep on, keep on moving. Don't you stop. You better not stop. And as brothers and sisters in Christ, we ought to walk up that nudge. Oh, come on, Carl, come on. Come on, Carl, keep moving, come on. Come on, Melvin, keep moving. I know it's tough. Come on, Angela, I know it's rough. Come on, Angela, I know it's rough. Come on, little black. I know you're about to lose your mind. Come on, come on, Cloudy. Come on, come on, come on. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Keep on moving, knowing that everything gonna be all right. Knowing that this too shall pass because my storm did not come to stay, but it came. It's in the text. It's in, it's in there, man. Mac is in there. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let me keep reading, y'all rush me, y'all rush me. I got about two more hours. I got about two more hours. I got to get it. I got to get this last point. And Isaac built an altar and called on the name of the Lord and pitched his tent. He pitched his tent. And there Isaac's servants were digging away. Here, here it come. Here it come. Then Abimelech went to him from Gary with Azur, one of his friends in he called the army's commanders. And Isaac said to them, why have you come to me? Seeing that you hate me and have sent me away from you. You listen. You the reason I move. You are the reason I moved. You, you, you hurt me back there. Uh-oh. You lied to me back there. Uh-oh. You took from me back there. Uh oh, uh, uh. you you parked me back there. But now God is on my side. I moved from going through the storms and adversities. I moved on to advancements. The advancement is God has showed up. Now I'm finna move into the accomplishments. I'm finna do what God promised me it was gonna be done. I'ma do what my daddy waited all these years for. He had Ishmael, but that wasn't what God was gonna bless. I am the chosen child. You ran me off, but God ran me too. You ran me away, but God ran me to the way. Oh God, what you meant for evil, God used it for good. Some of you don't know when to shout. Some of you going through hell right now. Your body is racking with pain. Your mind is all over the place. Your money is a little funny. And your house is broken down. But be not dismayed. Whatever you be tied, God will. I say God will. Help me say he will. He will in the morning. He will in the new day. He will late at night. God will take care of me. Look at the text. Now it's time for you to achieve what I promised you. The king said, let us make a treaty with you. Let us make a covenant with you. Because we see your God do what only he can do. We ran you away, but he still blessed you. We ran you away, but he still blessed you. Now he is blessing you because God that showed up. God that showed up. God that showed up. And we know, somebody say we know. We know your God is about to show up. So if you will, Please make a covenant with me so I won't be killed for being your enemy. We want your God to be our God. We want to know the God that you serve. We want to be lifted up with your God. Ain't God all right? We go through things to save other people. He move us around to reach those we're supposed to reach. Won't God do it? Quit looking at 
that your situation like is bad and say for God I live and for God I die I'll go if I have to go all by myself won't it do it won't it do it how can you say that because one Friday evening he put an old rugged cross up on his shoulder marched up to God got this here some of you call it Calvary 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 my savior just kept on moving they nailed his hands ribbing his feet but he kept on moving they locked him between earth and the sky he kept on moving laid him in a barber tomb stay there all night Friday stay there all night Saturday but early somebody say early Jesus kept on moving he got up he got up he got up with all power in his hand then he said it's extremely that I go so that the comforter could come he kept on moving Went back to heaven, sitting at the right hand side of the Father, making intercessions for you and I. Ain't God all right? Ain't he all right? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Say yeah! Yeah! Oh, yes! Keep, keep, keep on moving! Keep moving. Don't stop. Keep moving. God will bless you after a while. The doors of the church is open. There may be one that's stuck. There may be one that don't know him and the pardon of his sins. He said, whosoever will. <laughs> Woo. Whosoever will, my God. Whosoever will, my God. Get up. Let him come. Father God, we come now to say thank you for your presence, for your power, Lord, for your provisions. I pray that every person here receive this word today, that you burn it in their hearts so that we walk more upright with you. The sinners that are still sitting here thinking that they will come before it's everlasting too late. We so I will mindfully carefully give your name the glory, the honor, the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah. Uh, gotta keep you moving, man. Don't you sit still on God. 
Ain't nothing in sitting still. He's a forward thinking God, a forward moving God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord Jesus. Ah. That's the truth. Yeah, that was the truth. You got a choice. Be accepted or rejected. Come on. Where we at? Yeah, let's do communion. Y'all got to you got to give me one. Hey man, if you need a need, need a supplement, raise your hand. My God. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus went to Calvary. That's love. Oh, Jesus went. Jesus went to Calvary. To save a wretch. Save a wretch. Like you and me, that's love. Mm -mm. That's love. Oh, they hung him high. They hung him high. Stretched him wide. Stretched him wide. Hung his head, for me he died. Jesus took a piece of bread and broke it. He said, His bread is a representation of my body, which is broken for you. As often as you eat it, eat this and remember to me, shall we eat? Thank you, Lord. Then he took the cup. This cup is symbolic of my blood, which was shed for the remission of sin. As often as you drink it, drink this and remember to me, shall we drink? Amen. offering time now. Amen. We're going to close out in worship with offering. Amen. Come on, guys. Let's go. Wow.
Lord, I we thank you for the gifts, bless the givers. Pray and ask to be used for the business of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We have any guests here for the first time. Would you please stand? Let us say hello to you. Amen. Amen. Who y'all with? Who invited y'all? Lord have mercy. Can y'all touch and agree with it? Thank y'all so much for coming. Do y'all, you want to say something? Angela had told me when she first came here that uh, how you had touched on the story in which you were saying was so true. And I want to con confirm that because what I had been going through at work, you can confirm it just as well. Mm. Keep it moving. And I've been talking to the Lord about it because I know I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. And I go to work, I go to work and do my job. Mm -hmm. But you saying what you just said and you don't even know nothing about me, it touched me so, Man, so deep. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I know God take you for, take you places for a reason, but to me, I think my season there is over with. It's something else better for me to be doing. Amen. So I just thank you for speaking truth and what you said. And Joy, also, you know, I came in the last minute of your Bible uh, Sunday school lesson. It was right on point. Amen. So I just want to say Amen. I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I came. I haven't been to church since we've been in the pandemic. And God is so good, you know. I keep talking to him, talking to him, you know, and he'll make a way. Because first I wanted to go to Tony Evans' church. Amen. He still ain't gave me no sign. Okay. But when Angela said it, it just felt so real. I was just so excited this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I just want to say thank you all. Amen. Just keep coming, baby. Thank you so much. Is that your daughter? Did you want to say something? You good? Okay. Amen. I don't want to overlook nobody. Thank you all so much for coming. You know, that's what God, God's spirit will do. It gives you what you need when you get here. Especially when you're where he told you to be. If this ain't where you're supposed to be, you won't receive from him. But because you prayed and God spoke through Angela. <laughs> Amen. You're capable of being used to. Amen. All of us are. He equipped all of us to say something to the right people to compel them to come to where we are. That's right. That's what that is. Our hearts and minds clear. Oh, Brandon. Hey, just give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Brandon wasn't feeling too good this morning. Are you feeling better? Good morning, church. Uh, real quick, I just want to remind you, next Sunday, your ads are due for the pastor and wife anniversary, so please make sure you get those in. Uh, I need to see all the leaders immediately after service. Meet me in the dance room for just a quick minute. I just got to share something with you real quick. You're a leader. Well, what is a leader? Anyone that leads. You teach Sunday school. You lead the dance. Whatever you lead, they need to see you in that room. So raise your hand back there, Latine. That's what the, that's the, that's the, the board room. I mean, the, uh, the, the dance room. <laughs> Amen. Our hearts and minds clear. Thank y'all so much for coming. We pray and ask that God would touch your heart to come back. Amen. We will be baptizing my baby next Sunday. She was, number one, she was a little scared. Number two, that water's real cold. So I don't want to add to her injury, her fear. And so we're going to make sure the water's a little warmer for her. Commoners, and we'll be here next Sunday to baptize her. Amen. Shall we stand? Hold on. It's 10.30. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest from the body. Hence for now and forever. Until we all meet again, may we all say amen. Thank you, ma'am and sirs. You are excused.